Hi everyone. I am going to do a live as I make chocolate pudding. I wasn't prepared today for my lunch and all I had was soup and I was hungry. So I'm gonna make some chocolate pudding so that at least I have a snack and then I'm gonna have some leftovers because we're making chicken, scalloped potatoes, and broccoli with cheese sauce for dinner tonight. You're not gonna be involved with that one, but you will be involved with this one. So the chocolate pudding, it makes six servings, which I plan, six half cup each serving, which I plan on putting in my brand new bowls, serving bowl. And uh, so it says that you combine the pouch, this pouch with two cups of milk and then I'm gonna whisk it or beat it with a mixer on low for two minutes. So, here we go. Thank God for these scissors because my other ones would not have cut that. So we do that. Oops, I just cut the recipe. <laughs> the instructions. So, two cups, I need a cupper. of milk and I can't have regular milk so I use skimmed almond milk. Oh by the way I am in my pajamas because I got home from work and I was tired. It's a Monday. What happens? So we're gonna put in two cups of milk. When you wake up at four in the morning to get ready for work, when you get home, you take advantage of the downtime. All right, so every time I have the opportunity to use a mixer, I use it because it's my grandma's mixer. It's old, 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 old. And anything that reminds me of her I always use it. I love it. So we're going to just plug this old beast in. Does anyone still have one of these kicking around in their kitchen? Let me know because it's very rare to see one of these nowadays. And it still works like a charm. I have a chef here today. <laughs> Lucky me. Yeah, here we go. So for two minutes, one look. this thing. I swear it will never die. 
I'm going to pass it down to my nephews when they get older. Okay. Let's set that over here for now. I'll get to my light. Okay. So it says about half cup. So that's about here. It shows you there's measuring. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There's measuring on the side. So one, two, it said it made six half servings. So if I do three full servings, I might have to do a fourth if I don't go all the way. All right, let's see here. Mmm, looks good to me. Here, I'll go this way and you can have a little peek yourself. Yummy. Who likes chocolate pudding? Hands up. <laughs> I love it. I usually buy the packs of four of chocolate pudding. But if I can do it myself, save money, eat healthier, then why wouldn't I, right? There's so much sodium and so much bad stuff in our food, or not bad per se, but too much of it is bad, then why not pick the better choice if we have the option? Okay, so this one here looks a little thin. Low. There, what do you think? Nice and easy. So I will put this, put this in the fridge for 10 minutes. So here they are. So I got four, four of these and they're all at the, uh, just over half mark half a cup i'm gonna put the lids on them it doesn't say you have to cover them i don't think it does oh yeah it does say cover cover and chill for 10 minutes there we go perfect all right and that's it i will pass these over make sure those lids are on please yep, yep. that's all she wrote that's chocolate pudding from epicure I'll uh, post uh, later um, on how it turned out. So normally I would top it with some fruit. Today all I have is bananas. Um, so I'll use my tutti frutti and put it over top.